I have two files here. This picture of Chicago skyline. I have the original and I have one that just called Chicago JPEG. Notice something strange about this image. It's got a size of 224 megs. If I look at the original, it's got a size of only one meg. Looking at the details, we can see it's a very high resolution photo. with the same data. If I open 7-Zip Manager and go to the Chicago.jpg and extract it to my desktop, you will see that it's actually a folder with a video file in it called Ocean MP4. If I click it, it opens the video. This file has a size of 620 megs. It is a 30 minute 1080p video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide files within an image. This is actually a pretty simple hack to do and all you really need is 7-zip, an image, and whatever files you want to store in the image file. I'll open my command line, cmd -er, and what I'll do, the first thing we'll need to do is create an archive. So I'll right click on this Ocean MP4, I'll go to 7-Zip, if you don't have the 7-Zip in your context menu, just open the 7-Zip manager. We want to add to archive. You can choose any archive format, I'm going to choose 7Z with ultra level compression and the default compression method. You can choose any other options you like. And I'll say OK. And this will create our archive. Once that's complete, we will now have an Ocean 7Z file of a size of 223 megs. We don't need this video file anymore, so I'll delete it. Now we're ready to go. All we have to do in our command line is type copy B. Option B is for binary. Then we just need to say the original file. So in this case, original.jpg plus ocean.7z and then the file name, the output. I'll call it video image jpeg and hit enter. And you see up top here, we now have video image jpeg. We look at the size as 224 megs, but it retains the image data this is just a regular image that we can use. If we open it, it opens just like it would in any image viewer. And we can also open it in an image editor such as Affinity Photo. Of course, it has a very large size, so it might take some time if you open it in other programs. Keep in mind though, that if you save or overwrite the data of this image, the hidden data will be lost. Now, let's go ahead and extract the data from this image. We can close the command line. We won't need it for this. I'll go back to 7-Zip Manager and we'll look for our video image JPEG file. And I'll delete this so you don't get confused as well. So we have our original image and our hacked image of 200 megs. So what I would do is go to the hacked image, video image, extract, and extract to the desktop. And you will see our folder video image with our video file. If we open it up, it plays full size, full length. 
we look at the data, the data too is retained. What use does this technique provide? Really nothing because it's very easy to overwrite this data if you're not careful. So it's not very good for backing up or archiving data unless you're really careful. I guess you can make prettier archives this way and hide super, super secret information that no one would expect to find in an image. And it's fun. This was a hack that I've read about many years ago and in my boredom I tried to figure out how to do the hack again. I don't think this was the one I did many years ago, but it is simpler. So yeah, that's it for this video.